just tuning in, a dream just come true, came true right oh, now. But Pupu oh, Dandi has given me the seat, the hot seat. Oh, if you're just tuning in now. Hello guys and welcome back to Life Updates with T. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, baby, you are definitely welcome. Please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button, you turn on your notification bell, you like, you comment, you share, you just basically do the most. And most importantly, please don't skip those ads, okay? Just please don't. All right, guys, now let's get straight to the topic. But before we talk about what we actually here for, I just like to, to, to say something, you know, guys, I'm like genuinely speaking from the bottom of my heart. I am happy for these housemates. It's like each one of them, every single dream or every single thing that they spoke about in the house is just coming true. Like, Guys, I don't know, is it maybe because this year, um, maybe a lot of brands were watching or a lot of, um, I don't know, maybe a lot of connected people were actually, you know, invested in all of this. So they got to see what those housemates are all about. And then eventually they got them into those right places or what. I don't know. But guys, Sinaya yesterday did so amazing because uh, he he was at sports at 10 on sabc presenting and if you do remember very well during the time inside the house he did say that he would he would like to become a sports presenter and all of that he spoke about that i guess that's one of the reasons why he's so much involved with sports and if he's not uh doing this he's also hosting at some point so i'm just happy for him congratulations he did amazing the fact that also andre gave him the opportunity to be there like to be the actually guest or oh, no no not the guest but like the position of a resident host is so amazing andila actually has a great heart guys because i've seen them together with papa ghost if you do not know andile is a uh, papa ghost's brother and he is the resident host of sports at 10 so i guys this is so amazing this is beautiful i wish more of this for all of them and more opportunities to actually open up you know for 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 all of them yesterday i was just talking about chuenza you know uh also making the most also you know uh taking spaces in the industry and right now it's sinaya and more and more housemates are about that so this is just some exciting news i'm happy for all of them all right now guys let's get straight to business okay so hey enemies of progress People that don't like seeing other people happy have already started. Okay, why am, why am I saying this? Is because I'm, apparently, Sinaya is actually heading home today to the Eastern Cape. And yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen this tag trending on on Twitter that um, I think it's Eastern Cape will come Sinaya or something like that. Along the line, there's a there's, there's um. There's a, a a hashtag that's trending that uh his his supporters or his fans are pushing there by Twitter, and I came across some comments or some tweets where people were like, "Finally, finally, Sunai is going back home to his girlfriend, and he, finally Z is gonna be back in Houting." And all of that, Zinaye, she passed. You must know that this whole entire thing has come to an end and all of that. Oh, guys, the fact that people are celebrating that Zinaye is going home and will no longer be with Z is just so insane to me. It's crazy. Okay. At the same time, I do understand that, okay, he's probably, yeah, maybe going to meet, you know, or see his girlfriend over there if they are still together but apparently they're no longer together because um um yeah there were some rumors that apparently the girlfriend uh, doesn't want anything to do with him she blocked him and all of that i don't know how true that is but yeah there is that rumor and people are celebrating that this guy is going home and no lo he will no longer be sp sported with z but guys, do you actually know that 
when people want to be together, there's nothing that you can do, right? Like, it doesn't matter what you write, what you say, what whether you celebrate or not. If these two people have come to a conclusion that they want to they be together and they want to be a couple, that's actually what it is you know it is what it is that's what's gonna happen it doesn't matter if you hate or not you know and also if i may ask if you are here and you are against this relationship between z and sinai can you please try and enlighten me and maybe like tell or say what's the reason is it because uh, okay the one that shocked me the most was this one where someone said um actually Eastern Cape is, uh, is, is, imba- okay, basically, the person was saying that Sinai embarrassed them with his actions of going into the house, saying that he's in a relationship, you know, the relationship was absolutely public when he was still inside the house, because I remember people would post their picture with the girlfriend and stuff, and this person said, yeah, we, we, like, you, you really, um, embarrassed us, as the province because you went there you went to the house instead of like um doing your thing you came okay you came out and you decided to stick with someone else so because of that you, like you have embarrassed us i don't i don't know if that makes sense because at the end of the day we, we all have choices and i believe that god plans our lives differently guys it is possible that z is his soulmate and they were supposed to just meet that way you know it's not like he was married or he was you know a family man where he was committed and maybe they probably had kids or something I'm not saying it's it's okay. I feel for the girl. Yeah, I, like I a bit. I I do feel a bit of sympathy for her. But I, I'm I'm not just gonna stop what's currently happening or try and stop what's currently happening between Z and Sinaya simply because of those reasons. Because at the end of the day, they are adults. They choose what they wanna do. They like it's their own decisions you get me so obviously guys i i mean to me it really baffles me sometimes when i come across these comments and i'm just like okay why are people acting like this why are we trying to control these people as if they're kids you know they don't know what they're doing or they don't see what they're doing but either ways guys do let me know in the comment section what you think about this are you also excited that Sina is finally going back to the love of his life or you just like okay we're just gonna wait for him to come back since he had relocated to Joburg. let me know in the comment section i'll definitely be waiting for your comments for now i have to love and leave you see you later bye